Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today we're working on the puff sleeve bodysuit uh, peplum and dress pattern. This is super cute. This pattern has so many options that I am actually going to be making two videos for it. On this video we're going to be making the bodysuit um, and on the next video we'll make the dress version. Um, I will be making, on this video we'll be making the scoop neck of the bodysuit um, and on the other video we'll be making the crossover. Um, so if you are going to be working on the crossover and you need help with that, check out our other video um, and then the steps for the bodysuit you can pick up from after I do the crossover part then you come come back to this video and do the, the last few steps um, I'm still gonna do uh, the puffed sleeve uh, gorgeous gorgeous sleeve um, and yeah so let's go ahead and get started because I'm super super excited <laughs> All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our back bodice and that is cut, uh, mirrored, um, and we're gonna put it right sides together on top of each other at that long seam in the back. And we're gonna go ahead and pin and sew. The reason why we cut that separate instead of just doing it on the fold, it's because when you cut it like this and you give it a seam in the back, it gives you uh, such a, a nice, uh, it's a nicer fit around your back because we don't have a just a straight back um, so this gives you a nicer fit now oh I wanted to remind you if you're working on the bodysuit make sure you measure your side waist okay because um, bodysuits you know you have to make sure that you get the length correct or they're not going to fit quite right um, your measurements might fit like bust and, and um, waist size and all that might fit but your length of your torso might be completely different from somebody else's um, so what you want to do is you want to measure your side waist and then go ahead and fix and um, compensate for that make your bodies longer or shorter whatever that is I made mine a whole inch longer because my side waist is a whole inch longer than um, my size that the, the size that it is made for in the pattern so um, or you might have to shorten it. it it really depends so go ahead and make sure you check that out first so let's go ahead and pin in so you can go ahead and open that up and steam it then after we do that we're gonna grab our shoulders and we're gonna put it face up on our board and for the scoop neck or turtleneck um, uh, version we're going to go ahead and sew our shoulders and our sides um, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I, I am doing the scooped version on this bodysuit. But if you are doing the wrap version and you need help with the first part, which is putting it all together, um, check out our second video. So after we sew the shoulders for the scoop and the uh, turtleneck version, we're also going to sew our side seams together of our bodysuit. I am super excited for this. I love bodysuits, but I am, my torso, it's long. So uh, whenever I, I cannot wear just off the rack bodysuits. So I am super excited to make my own. Um, and like I said, I added that whole inch um, and hopefully that will make a big difference in the fit of my garment. So I'm super, super excited about it. time for our sleeve so I'm just gonna go ahead and mark my top right now while I'm at it because I'd like to go ahead and do that um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pattern piece and I'm going to mark all my uh, gathering pieces so like right here is where I start my gathering stitch so I'm just gonna go ahead and put the clip on it right here and then I'm also going to mark my center you can do so by using um, Taylor's chalk or washable marker or whatever you want to do and then we need to remember that this is my line right here so I'm going to mark that line and usually I don't mark that with a pen but I don't know where my uh, tomato is you all know that it likes to hide around and go away on me so that's what happens I'm just going to put this pin right here and open up my sleeve so I see where it's at. You see I have my line already because I pressed on it. Um, but you could use some erasable marker and kind of, or water, uh, 
soluble marker. I'm always so scared to do, I know it's water soluble, but I'm always so scared of it not erasing later. So I don't like to mark my fabrics, especially light fabric like this, so, so, so harsh. So I rather like fold it, steam it, give it a good memory crease where I can see it and just lightly mark it. Um, so then I'm gonna grab my uh, quarter inch elastic and I am measuring uh, my quarter inch elastic going by my measuring, uh, what uh, the size that it says on my measure chart, but I'm adding a, ha a whole inch on each side of the elastic for handling. So when I go to uh, put it on, I can grab it and stretch it instead of me being like oh I gotta put it right there and stretch it's really hard so we're gonna go ahead and mark it I cut it an inch uh, higher on each side so like I can just go ahead and mark an inch I'm kind of just kind of eyeballing it because I know how much an inch looks like and then that way I know that I'm gonna pin it right there and pull from here and end right there so I'm gonna pull it this way when I'm gathering it on so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my sewing machine and put in a basting stitch all the way around my whole cap from one place to the other I'm just gonna put that in because that's how much we're going to that's the space that we're gonna gather to fit into our um, onto our sleeve so our arm size so we're going to do ahead and mark both of our of our sleeves and then i'm going to go ahead and put in that gathering stitch and i'm also going to go in and put and sew with a uh, zigzag stitch my elastic on my sleeve so i'll do the gathering stitch i put my elastic starting right here where that line is and zigzag stitch it uh, stretching it to that mark that I made down here as I zigzag stitch it onto my sleeve on the wrong side of the sleeve so let's do both of those right now all right I'm changing my stitch to a zigzag stitch I'm gonna put my uh, elastic right there where that uh, my middle is of my sleeve place it in there now I've got this little piece right here at the end that um, whole inch right there where I can grab it at and then I've got that whole inch here at the bottom I'm gonna use my pin and clip it I mean my yeah that's my pin and pin it right there so now it's stuck and we're gonna grab it and pull it straight right over now if you want to pin it down so it's straight right on your marks you can do that i have my marks right there i can see them so i'm just going to go ahead and go so exact stitch it all the way down all right now that our gathers are done look at that it is so pretty. I didn't mention this, but make sure that you use uh, a thread that's coordinating to your fabric because you will be able to see it on the outside. And also make sure you backstitch. I don't know if you noticed that I backstitched there at the end and the beginning so it doesn't come unraveled. I'm gonna go ahead and clip that extra um, off on both sides and then I'm gonna grab my sleeve and fold it right sides together and we're gonna sew all that raw edge the side not the sleeve cap but just the side of the sleeve we're gonna sew that together I'm making this is a short sleeve one so that's why I only have a little bit of space but usually obviously with the long sleeve you'll have a longer area so we're gonna do that for both all right our sleeves are ready to be sewn on so I'm gonna grab my suit and I'm going to find that arm right here and what I'm gonna do is we're gonna gather the sleeve. Well, let me turn it right side out because we're gonna match some right sides together. And we're gonna gather this sleeve cap as much as we need to for it to fit into our sleeve, our arm side. So I'm just gonna gather it a little bit first. What I like to do is I like to gather from one end to the top and then from the other edge to the top. So it's like, um, hold on, let me go ahead and fit it in there and I'll show you. So I match up my seam right here. This is the armpit seam. Okay, and then up here at the top of the shoulder and grab my top of my shoulder on my, on my sleeve where I sewed that zigzag stitch at. 
where that tippity top is and pin. And then we're gonna go ahead and pull that basting stitch and gather our sleeve as much as we need to all the way to the top to fit comfortably right here on our uh, arm side. So I'm gathering it. I like to take it one side at a time. Make sure that the raw edges line up. Gather it up. Make sure the raw edges are, are lined up. And then I'll go over to the other side. So I'll pin all these gathers together right here. And then I'll move over to the other side and do the same thing. And then I'll do the same thing for the other sleeve. So you see how now I've got it all gathered up and it matches evenly. So make sure your gathers are spread out equally right here and pin them right sides together to the sleeve, well, the arm side. And then we're gonna do the same for the other side and the same for the other sleeve. If you are using fabric that doesn't have really good recovery, um, I'm using, this is a double brush poly, by the way, that I um, got from um, Olga's Closet. But if you're using a fabric that doesn't have very good recovery, you may also want to add some clear elastic here um, to your seam so it can give it some um, more stability. So what uh, I would do is, I'm not adding clear elastic to this one. Because, oh my goodness, there went my pen, my clip. Because I um, this has really good recovery and it's not super heavy. But if I was adding the clear elastic, I would go ahead and make cut the clear elastic in a loop and attach it, pin it right to my gathers right on top and then sew it all together. It doesn't need to be stretched, it's just right put right on top. Um, so yeah, there it is. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do it for the other sleeve as well and then we're gonna go ahead and sew it together at that raw edge. All right, let's go sew that on. I always like to have my um, gathers look up when I'm sewing so that way I can see exactly that they're gathering equally. While we're at that I, as well, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my bands. So I've got my neck band and what I'm gonna do is I wanna fold it um, wrong sides together and give it a little steam. Um, that way it has a memory crease. That way when I go to attach it on the round, it um, it's easier to fold and I'm gonna do the same thing for my armbands because I am doing the short sleeve version so the short sleeve and the quarter sleeve version um, you can do armbands um, with so if you're doing the long sleeve you don't have an armband but um, yeah I'm gonna fold them and give them a little steam and then I'm going to open them up and I'm going to sew them right sides together at that short raw edge. So I'm gonna do that to all of them. All right, our sleeves are on. We can turn that right side out now. And how gorgeous are these sleeves? Look at that. I can't wait. I'm super excited. This is gonna be so gorgeous. I can't wait. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and attach our um, neck band and our arm bands and they both will be attached the same exact way except for obviously the arm band is smaller than the neck band. So what we're doing is we're gonna grab those shoulder seams and match them together. To the back, we already have that back seam so that's our back point and then we're gonna go to the front and go and mark that. I like to mark it by putting like a little tiny notch, not any bigger than my seam allowance, just a little bit so that way I can see it, but it won't show up after I sew my neckband on. We're gonna match that front and back and we're gonna go to the sides because our shoulders are not our sides quarter points. Um, if we use our shoulders, our neckband will be all wonky, so we don't wanna do that. And then um, we're gonna go ahead and quarter our neckband as well, do the same things we just did, but to our neckband and to all of our bands. So let me go ahead and do it to all of the bands too. Actually, a lot of times for my armbands, I only do like half because it's like half the size of my neckband. 
So like sometimes I'll just go from my back seam to my front seam and that's my half. And then I just stretch that width. And then when I quarter my, um, I don't quarter my armband, I just half them. So, I mean, it's up to you if you want to do all four points, if you're like intimidated and you don't want it to be overstretched on one side and not, not on the other one, you can do that. Um, or if you're confident and you're like, I'll be fine, I think I can do it, then you can go ahead and do that. It is up to you. You know you're, uh, you know how confident you are putting these bands on. Um, they are after, you know, a lot to do with sewing, someone to the front, a lot to do with sewing is a lot to do with practice. So if you are struggling and you're saying, I'm never going to be able to just sew something super easy, super quick and be like, I'm done, you know? Don't stress. Um, the more you do it, the more you learn and the more confident you get in your skill, and the quicker things become and then you realize that now you're just making mistakes because you're trying to go super fast that's what i do and um but yes so i matched up the front and the back and now i went to the sides so my neck band is quartered and my armbands are just going to be halved because i'm lazy and um yeah there's really no excuse <laughs> other than the fact that i'm just like meh let's do it I am, I had like extra coffee this morning, so I am like so jittery. Does coffee make you jittery? I'm like, let's do this thing. I can't wait to finish it. So I'm like, maybe I need to go get, drink some water to uh, flush up my veins from all this caffeine from the coffee this morning. But I love drinking coffee. So I'm like, it is so yummy to me. I think it's so good. Anyway, so I'm doing that for my cuff as well and we're going to go ahead and attach them by matching our quarters or half points so on our uh, bodice on our neck band we're going to match up our back and our quarters and then we're going to go ahead and sew them all on and we're almost done we just got to move on to our placket um, and actually that is also very easy. I think you're gonna be surprised. I think that sometimes we get so worried and worked up when we do something different and we're like <gasps> And then you do it and you're like Oh, okay All right, I got it. I got it. Now remember you're putting your band right sides together So the right side of the band is touching the right side of your uh, bodice and um, you're going to stretch out your band to fit your bo your uh, body. Um, so like your neck, band, your your neck and your sleeve. I can't think of the words right now. I'm just like at a loss of words. But um, yes. So in, in, and also you can do one at a time. You can like do your arm bands first and then do your neck band. I just like to do everything at once. Um, if you've watched any other of my videos, you see that I kind of tend to try to do everything at once and get it all done. Um, but yeah. Oh, and I was going to tell you too, I know I get a lot of questions about what I'm wearing and sometimes I forget to mention it. So I'll mention it now while I'm doing this. I am wearing the book club top. Um, super, super cute. I love it. This is made with French Terry, French Terry and sweater knit. Um, and the sweater knit came from Olga's closet. Um, but this was like a while ago. I've had this top for a while, so I'm not sure if they still carry it, but, um, yeah. So I figured I'll let you know that. So let's go. sew those, um, armbands. All right, for my neck bands, I like to go ahead and, and for my arm bands too, but for my neck bands mostly, I like to go ahead and get my band face up, get my needle in there to get it started. Then I go ahead and grab my quarter point and pull and stretch my neck band to fit my bodice and I'm going to match up those raw edges and so. Then I go to that point and grab my next quarter point and do it over again. And then go all the way around doing the same thing all the way around. Block it time. This is the part I know we're all stressing out about. So let's do it together. I've got my plackets 
and I went ahead and got some interfacing for my plackets. You want to make sure you put some interfacing on there to the wrong side of the placket because you're going to be adding snaps uh, for your placket and you don't want to uh, rip those snaps off when you, you know, unsnap it and snap it. And the interfacing gives it a little bit of reinforcement to that fabric so that it, that the uh, snaps kind of hang on tight and grip and don't just rip your fabric to shreds. Then I'm gonna grab my uh, pattern piece and I'm gonna fold half an inch where it says right here fold. So this is the side that I'm folding. So I'm folding that half an inch down and steam. And doing the same for the other one. Make sure that you know which side it is that it is that you're folding down. So make sure you put it on and figure it out. So which side is it? Let's fold it and figure it out. This side. So this is the top. Now we're gonna grab our bodysuit and put our back. This is the back to our back. And we're gonna sew that together. Right sides together. So we're gonna sew right there at the bottom, right sides together. And then the front as well. Okay. Once I sew that together, I'm gonna do that with my serger. We're gonna go over to our sewing machine and with a straight stitch at a half an inch seam allowance, I'm going to sew a straight stitch right here and right here for the front and the back. So leave that the, uh, fold, leave that fold on there and sew straight stitch, straight stitch. And I wanna do a back and forth, go straight stitch, back and forth, straight stitch, back and forth, um, so that that's sewn down. So let's do those steps. Now that that's sewn, we can go ahead and clip those corners. Now make sure that you don't clip your where you sewed at, just um, the extra allowance right there so it's nice and flush. And then we're gonna go ahead and flip it so it's right side out. You can use a little tool to poke those corners. And now we're gonna go ahead and hem. So we're gonna, right here already, there's a fold when it folded and we're, so we're gonna hem like around the placket and go around that fold that's a half an inch hem we're gonna keep going all the way to give that half an inch all the way around. And as we're going, we're gonna come up to the other placket. So we're just hemming all this down to the other placket. And then we'll come around to the other side as well and do the same thing. Make sure you steam it all down. Again, make sure your iron is not too hot. Sometimes my iron gets way too hot and tries to burn my fabric. <clears throat> and then we're gonna go over and you can do it on your sewing machine with a zigzag stitch or a triple stitch, double needle, cover stitch, whatever you want. And we're gonna go ahead and sew that right there right through here and all the way around. So that whole um, crotch area is going to be top stitched all the way around. Then we'll attach our snaps and we'll be done. All right, y'all, the last step is the snaps. And what we're going to do is we're gonna to go to the center and put our first snap now. Um, you can use any kinds you want. So these are the sew on kind. You can use the sew on kind, which are not very bulky. You can use regular snaps, um, kit like plastic snaps. I'm gonna use these ones. I honestly have never used these snaps before. I did try it on a piece of fabric yesterday and I was like, okay, we're gonna do it. And so I hope they work out. If not, I'm gonna be very sad because I ruined my bodysuit, but that's okay because it's on the inside. So if they don't work out, I'm just gonna go with something 
something else and call it done. But anyway, um, you're going to follow your manufacturer's instructions on how to do that. Um, I can't really tell you, but anyway, center, put one in the center, go a half an inch and put the next one half an inch over and then the next one a half an inch over and we are done with our bodysuit. Now I'm going to attempt to put these on and we'll be done. Now I know for a complete fact that you all are sitting at home laughing at me saying, Diana, there is an easier way to do that. And I am just sitting here thinking, you're right. And Bo keeps knocking my camera around, so that's why you keep seeing movement. So let me continue to make a fool out of myself here and try to figure these out. No, I did not read my instructions because my little instruction booklet didn't really come with very good instructions. It just kind of like told me what to do. So I'm just kind of following along, doing my own thing, figuring it out as I go. And it's looking good so far. Here we go, almost done. Now I just gotta do the two more, look at that. It's working out. You can't laugh too hard at me when it's actually working out. All right, my bodysuit is done. We are done with our bodysuit. I mean, it fits so great. I'm so glad I added that extra length because it just fits perfectly now. Um, and I love the sleeves. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe so you can be entered for the giveaway we're doing this week. So check that out if you don't know about it. There's a video on our website about it. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you all next time. Bye.